Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Happy Easter. Today is Easter Sunday. If you don't celebrate Easter then happy Sunday. I am excited to bring y'all this video because this is something that I hold near and dear to my heart because it's been quite the situation for me as I have said in other videos. But today I am going to tell you guys all about how I brought my hair back from the dead basically and how you can do that too if you have damaged hair. I have been bleaching my hair since I was in like eighth grade and my hair I've had the hair I had the same hairdresser forever and ever and she was amazing and she told me all these things to do with my hair when I got home so I didn't damage it didn't do any of it so basically my hair has been this length since then because I never used heat protectant and I would straighten it on like 100% like heat as hot as it would go and so my hair was disgusting and dying very quickly because I mistreated it. So this is what I did basically to make it healthy again. It's still kind of on that track but it's doing a lot better than it was. So if you guys have the same situation as me I am hoping that this will help you out. This is also just kind of my hair care routine altogether. So there's a few things in there that aren't like specifically for helping your hair but I use them so I threw them in there. So I'll get into it. First I'm going to talk to you guys about which doesn't seem like something you would really think about and it's something that I never thought about but someone told me once is you have to be careful about the stuff that you're putting in your hair. So I used to always tie my hair up really tight with a ponytail holder and I didn't realize how much breakage that was causing like right around where the ponytail holder is because of, or the hair tie, whatever you call it, because of how tight it was. So I've been switching over and I've been using scrunchies now, which they're coming back in. Um, and usually they're not as tight and they also have fabric around them. So it keeps them from really like cutting into your hair. And I've noticed that's helped a lot with breakage. So that's just kind of a little thing that's not that important, but that you can switch and do so you're not causing a ton of damage and breakage right around where your hair tie is. Um, so that's like my first suggestion is that and that's super easy and like obviously you can find them for really cheap and that can really help you out but now I'm getting into products and everything and this is these are the things that I've noticed the biggest difference for my hair obviously everyone's hair will kind of take products differently but for me at least this is what I have seen that makes the most difference so <laughs> Okay, so first I'm going to talk to you guys about which shampoo and conditioner I use. I've gone through a million different kinds of shampoos and conditioner, and I never really saw a huge difference between any of them, and I've done salon, like, version, and then cheap drugstore version and everything like that, and I never really saw any of a difference, any, like, any kind of difference. But one thing that I've been using that I absolutely love and swear by, and I know so many people that agree with this and really love this stuff, is the Olaplex brand. I really don't know why. It's just so amazing. It's pricey it's definitely pricey because I think this was like $28 and obviously it's really small and this is my new bottle my new bottle it's not going to last forever but you don't have to use very much so I mean it's kind of a splurge but this stuff has worked absolute wonders on my hair and in combination with this I use like the shampoo at least um I use this color balancing shampoo with it because obviously I have blonde hair and so I try to keep it from getting brassy with a purple shampoo and I don't use this every time I wash my hair. I'm sure you can, I don't know, but I don't just because I don't feel like I need to. So I use it like, oh it says use two to three times a week which is basically when I use it. I use it like every other time I wash my hair and I try not to wash my hair every day. I do it like once every two days or once every three days if I can stretch it that far but I have kind of greasier hair, like it gets greasy really quickly. So I have to be careful with that. But I use this to keep my hair from getting brassy and to tone it out. And it's for eliminating brassy and yellow tones on blonde and gray hair. So I use this in combination with the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. So I use that and then I bought, I just bought this on Amazon. It's the same price as it is on their website. And I just like buying everything on Amazon and then I also got these little pumps for it so that you can just kind of put them in there and then pump it out so you don't have to like squeeze it every time because I don't know it's just easier that way but the next thing is also from that same brand and this stuff is life-changing honestly I don't know why I don't really know what's in it but it has done wonders and this is definitely expensive but it's the Olaplex brand too and it's their I'll link all this stuff down below but it's their hair perfecter like treatment and it says use one time a week for damaged hair two to three times a week apply on damp towel dry hair which is what I do leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes usually what I do is like I usually wash my hair in the morning so I'll take a bath at night and wet my hair and put this stuff in and then sleep with it in all night long and then the next morning wash it out when I wash my hair and it has done 
wonders for my hair. I have no idea what's in it. Go Olaplex. I appreciate you. But it has really helped my hair. Again, I think this is like $28 or something like that. So it's really expensive because it's a tiny little bottle, but you don't have to use almost any. And I have, I mean, my hair is short, but it's generally kind of thicker, especially now when it's getting healthier, it's getting thicker. So I don't even have to use that much. If you have longer hair, you might run out faster than I do, but it's not been that bad. So I use that and I really like that. Um, Hold on, I can't find one of the products I was gonna show you guys. Okay, so I have no idea where that went, but if any of y'all have heard of the BioSilk brand of hair care, I get their, I'll link it down below, I don't know what it's called. It's like a serum, and I just put it in the ends of my hair because that's usually where I have the most issue is in the ends and then where I used to put my ponytail, which is kind of like right here. Um, so I put that at the very ends of my hair like every single day. I literally use like this much like almost nothing, like barely let it come out on your hand and put it in your hair because it goes a long way. And like I said, I have hair that gets oily pretty quickly, so I have to be really careful about it because if I put it in there and then brush my hair and it works its way up into the top of my hair, my hair will get greasy pretty quickly. So I have to be careful with this, but if you just put it in the bottom and then try not to touch the top of your hair until you wash your hands or try not to like get it all in the top of your hair, your hair should not get oily that fast. And it really does wonders too. And I like this because I put it in every day and like leave it in, whereas the Olaplex stuff I wash out. So I love doing that. And then the last thing that I have to tell you guys, and this is obviously probably very common sense to everyone but me, is heat protectant. I never used this when I was younger, which is why my hair got so messed up, is because I never used heat protectant. And I used to use a straightener on my hair at, again, like full temperature, which is super hot. And so this is the heat protectant I use. I just use a Chi. I don't know if this is, I got this from Marshalls for like 12 bucks. I don't know if there's a better kind or whatever, but I think this works really well. It's helped my hair a lot. And I also don't shade my hair anymore. I use this before I blow dry it. I use this if I'm going to curl it or anything like that, but I try to avoid right now putting any kind of like direct heat onto my hair because it will murder your hair. So I actually have one of those I'll, I'll try and link it down below too. One of those heated brushes. And I'm not sure if that's that much better for your hair than a straight iron, but I've noticed that it's not as damaging to my hair as the flat iron is. So I've been using that and I just use it very sparingly. So I just kind of use it to make it so that my hair isn't huge and fluffy. So I use this before I do anything to my hair, like directly out of the shower. Nothing touches my hair until I put this on there. So that is my last tip to you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that video. I know it was really short and probably not necessarily super helpful to everyone because not everyone ruins their hair by not being careful. But I just want to tell you guys all of my tips and tricks to keep your hair healthy. And if you damage your hair by coloring it a lot, this is something that should help you out too. Or also if you just want to like grow your hair out and make it super silky, like this should help you. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. I'm glad you guys are liking the video I just put up about the designer dupes. That was really fun. I also, I also actually have to do an unboxing for something that I've had for a long time and I keep forgetting. But I'm going to do that next. And then I'm also going to try and put up a new skincare routine. I'm going to be trying a new skincare and I have really... You can't tell because my camera has a blurring feature, but my skin is super temperamental and not by any kind of sensitivity to products, but only because of like hormonal and everything like that. It's just stress freaks it out. So I'm trying a new brand and I'm gonna let you guys know in like a week or so how I like it, but look out for that. And again, thank you guys so much for watching.